what you might be feeling right now with the upgrade and shift of consciousness as it is on the rise in transformation. Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Um, I did want to do this little um, channel writing and transmission that I received. If you don't know what I do, I do channel writings. I'm doing a channeling book of an I am discourse. Um, I have some pre-books out there already. And then I have a um, process that you can use uh, for healing the uh, karmic overlay out there. It's on amazon.com if you're interested in that. Um, I also do sessions one-on-one -on -one and putting together some groups um, as well. Um, so this little transition, what I've got, you know, I kind of sat down and did some um, inner work and kind of tuning in and kind of seeing what was going on because over the last few days, uh, my ear was kind of like offline. All of a sudden it was like dead off. Like I had no hearing on my right side. It's also my intuitive side. Uh, my intuitive hearing. Um, and I, it was like, I couldn't hear anything. And so it kept getting blocked and popping and was on uh, like pressure, right? That would kept doing, it. it was almost like somebody came and put something over my ear. And probably a couple of days uh, worth of that. And I was like, I kept asking what's going on with this? Like, what is happening here? Um, Cause like, I, I didn't have anything that would you know, going on that would um, uh, per se cause that, you know, like I'm not sick, I'm not, um, didn't have anything hit my ear, go in my ear, anything like that. But so on an energetic level, you know, whatever was happening was happening and it was over the course of a couple of days. So I decided to finally sit down and tune in and um See what was going on with that and um, there's definitely shifts going on here as we're moving forward and especially coming into the full moon here on the 25th um you know adds a lot more uh, energy and pull and if you know about the full moon um generally it's a great time to do self-work um it shows us things that we need to see it brings things to the light right out of the darkness which is the moon in the dark right <laughs> metaphorically um, but using the moon, you know, on your journey, spiritual journey on self-healing and awareness is a good tool, right? So sitting down and writing and channeling and tuning into my guides and my guidance. Um, uh, so for, and I, I got some information here that I'll be going over, you know, with you. Um, now today, um, having woken up, I was in such a state of bliss. My, my ear was fine. Nothing's wrong. And I felt so much lighter. Um, and so it was definitely a shift going on over the last few days. So if you've been feeling anything, that's basically, um, what it is. And sometimes we just have to ride that out, right? We have to like, just sit with it and just be okay with it, you know, and let the feelings come up with it. And with my feelings on that, like I it was very uncomfortable for me. So I had to sit with my feeling of being uncomfortable and then frustrated because um, it's like, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like people messing with my my ears, my hearing or whatever that is. Um, uh, because like, that's how I, I tune in, you know what I mean? And I get messages. I have intuitive hearing. So I hear things over here. That means I would have to learn to rework on a different way, on a different level. Uh, you know, to tune in, but that's, you know, anyway. Uh, so working through the emotions as I'm going through through that. And then, you know, but anyway, thank God that is shifted and over and whatever that was that was coming up and out is gone and done. Um, so that's um, just putting it out there. You know, if you're going through anything, um, could be anything, you know, emotions, frustrations, whatever it is, sit with it and allow it and then tune in and see what's going on with that, right? <clears throat> so for me, it was like an energetic rebirthing. So when I talk about rebirthing, when I go through it and I'm working on myself, what it's, it, for me, it's almost like, you know, kind of like in imagery, like where you actually were birthed by your mother, it's like that on an energetic level, on a spiritual level, very same energy, like just being like almost... I don't want to say forced through, but 
it very much feels like it's like you're being um almost like going through like this tunnel or this whatever it is and then coming out the other side and so it's kind of like this shift from one to the other um, from one space to the other um but it's on an energetic level all right and so i'm just going to read what i had gotten you know as i was doing uh the tuning in um here all right um, so not it's uh, with the affecting on the levels, but it is maybe the, okay, yeah. So now um, with feeling lighter and clearer, and I kind of just jotted that down here. Um, so it's a lot going on right now um, that you may not be thinking is affecting you on an energetic level, but is and may appear to be physical in nature. So if you are learned anything about energy and working with Reiki, you understand the concepts that we're explaining to you because we are both physical form, energetic beings of intelligence and light. So question, what is this that you are feeling or experiencing? Don't negate it, but don't automatically run to elicit what you're experiencing with others. Um, a lot of times they can take us off of what we're receiving if we're going right away to talk to other people about that. Um, and what that actually might mean for them, because our experiences are going to be different than others. So it's just saying, you know, sit with yourself on it and see what it is. Call in your guides, angels, and meditate, journal, you know, do those things. Don't automatically elicit and then and just run to, oh, I got a backache, you know, I'm going to go run to the doctor, or, you know, I got a headache, I'm going to go run to the doctor, or tell my friend and this and this and this and this. Um, sit with it for a while and see what's comes of it you know I mean of course if it's uh, something that's like serious you know of course that's a different situation um so sit with it and if it is to the detriment then yes seek help but is your guides your inner child trying to speak to you your intuition trying to guide you what is your soul's role in this time what are you experiencing or need to experience that you're not are you resisting anything? We all have different purposes. Maybe you are here to harness love, bliss, or compassion, non-judgment, laughter, or be on the forefront of being and making change. We can heal ourselves if we have the tools and know-how. So you may be feeling emotional, sore, unfocused, not sure. But most of all, you may be feeling uh, tired, of the way things that are, they are, and you feel the need to change them, but you don't know how, what or why, or maybe in fear with the knowing that it has to be done soon, but may lack resources or know how to do it, no fear. It will so soon be revealed to you, to all of you. You just have to wait it out and be ready for it. In the meantime, meditate, yoga, thing, self-love, healthy behaviors, and do something creative to get the energy flowing. Our souls know when it is time to act, and you feeling antsy is a sign it's almost time. And I'm going to share a little story about that. Um, like when I had my awakening, it was years after that, and I was doing all these things to... Um, just following my guidance, because from my awakening, I was just started following these steps in my awakening. So first came meditation, then yoga, then healthy behaviors and things. like. And I was just following the guidance I was receiving. And I really wasn't understanding. I was just kind of going off on what I was receiving. I didn't really know that my guides were guiding me <laughs> at that point, because uh, it was very early on after my main awakening, um, spiritual awakening, that this was happening. And I got to a point. Um, where I had woke up and it was so interesting because I never heard of Matt Kahn before. And he was talking about um, the three waves, right? And then the new earth coming in. And the minute I heard that from him speak, that was almost like my soul was like, oh my God, I didn't miss it. Thank God I didn't miss it. For some reason, whatever, <laughs> you know, I guess my soul was like, 
this chick better wake up because <laughs> we're going to miss this if she doesn't wake up, you know? And so it was like this relief from within, deep within myself that was like, thank God we didn't miss it. You know, we didn't miss it. We woke up. Um, so, <laughs> and then, you know, that kind of made sense to me at that point, being a part of that, er that time where that was kind of really starting the shift um, for a lot of people. So being on that train, uh, you know, in that direction. Um, and so when you're feeling antsy, it was like that antsiness. And then I had this feeling like, oh, my God, time's running out, time's running out. It was like this antsy feeling, right? And so I, would, I didn't know where any of these feelings were coming, but it was from my soul, right? It was like my soul knew more than I knew, right? Like it, there was like this inner knowing of stuff, stuff that I didn't know was going on that was happening um, beyond my physical humanness, right? And so it's this spiritual experience here and we're the form that is being taken up through that to help us maneuver in our lives, right? And so, yes, we are our spiritual beings having a human experience, not a human having a spiritual experience, right? Um, and it, it, But it's kind of both, you know what I mean? Because we are here in the physical form of a human, you know, but spiritually we, we leave the body and then we go on. We don't stay in the human body. We don't take the body with us, right? So it's spiritual, having human experience. All right. And so when you have that antsy feeling, it's a sign that it's almost time, right? And so what is it almost time for? If you're having that experience now, uh, what is it that you're needing to do? What is your soul wanting you to do? Um, let the fear out and trust all is divine and taken care of and will be revealed when it is time. This is when faith and trust in the universe and yourself takes place. So in the paradigm where most things take place from a practical standpoint, we face fear in ourselves that we are not enough or we're not equipped to handle it when we are, right? So take a breath and relax. You're not alone. We are here with you to help <clears throat> shift the planet. And we are here gearing up the tethers of everything coming undone. And so it is not overwhelming. But we are tearing down the structures that have been in place for over eons. We're replacing them in higher ways and frequencies to help navigate this transition. We have a new age children coming in on every level to help navigate the new level of awareness and to not take what we have been, which is why you are feeling the energy coming in. It's a new stage of evolution that takes us to the next level of the game, sort of say. And so with this stage, is this is the hardest stage. So this stage is the hardest, the Rainbow Bridge. So the other day I was um, contemplating getting out of um, one of the situations that I'm currently in, you know, um, and working to get out of that and create something else that I want to create. And so the when I was contemplating it, what I received was, how do you make change, right? And I was kind of like, I don't know how, right? How do you make change, right? And I received the answer, right? You build a bridge, right? So how do we get from point A to point B, right? And they called it the rainbow bridge, <laughs> you know, the, the rainbow bridge, right? To get from A to B, you make change, right? And so in increments, you change from one to the other and you put in substitution because nothing can be destroyed once it's been created. So you change and that's energy, right? So you're changing energy and vibration um, and your experience, right? Nothing is extinct. And that was another experience that I had, you know, um, when I, I was contemplating, there's no extinction of anything. It's just changed. Things change form, things change format. They appear differently. We think differently on all different levels. So there's no extinction, it's only change. It's evolution, right? So what we may have thought, you know, at one point was one thing is changed into another and now it's something else, right? So you make a bridge from one to the other and it evolves, right? So how do our a system get to the way it is now, right? 
because what we're seeing now is the result of what was implanted before in as a system which no longer goes on and if you want to check out that video you can there's a video out on that um but um what what has been um put in the planting of the seed has evolved and the way we live on everyday life is the result of that creation right so how do you change that you start implementing new seeds new new ways of being you start changing the way we see things perceptions realities right and we create from a place that we are looking at the whole of what is now the seed that's been planted the flower the budding um, and we change from there right so if we see something we don't like we change it and i've said this before there's no um chop wood, carry water after an awakening, it's changed. We don't continue to do the same thing if we haven't, if we've, if we've woken up, right? We don't just continue to do the same thing. We make change, right? Or we act upon our awareness, our new level of awareness. We don't continue to run on the same old programs, right? So it's, it's all about change, right? So the, the bridge is you make change from here to there. And that's what they were telling me, right? You make change. So as I'm leaving, you know, the corporate world, uh, creating other streams of income, I'm creating the opportunity for that change to happen. That's the bridge, right? So you have to put something in place uh, for you to transition. And that's what's going on in the universe with everything, right? Basically, uh, from that, you can use that, exp you know, that's, uh, scenario for that right so the rainbow bridge so how do you make change you build a bridge and so this has been the stages of evolution coming in with the millennials right them too have been a part of it but we don't see it as that um they were part of the change and breaking up this stuck consciousness of evolving through dominion that caused a ruckus with older generations about working new ways of thinking and being um not following others and just doing their own thing, right? It was the breaking apart of a lot of the things that we've seen happen and they had their purpose of coming in and doing that and bringing that energy. Now, um, I know I was affected by, by that when that came in because that's I was tuning into that energy and so it was affecting me. And so I too took on that perception because I was like, fine with that, you know, before all that came and came into the energy came in and shifted, you know, I was working, I didn't have problem with working. And but then as I evolved and woke uh, and shifting, and then that came in, it was like, you know, I really don't want to work anymore. I don't want to be in the, in the rat race anymore. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to contribute to that anymore. So I'm building my bridge, you know, to do something else. And that's where I've incorporated like my sessions and things like that um helping people too as as well along their journey and writing the books and everything but you know at, at some point along our waking journey like we don't want to chop wood and carry water because when you awaken you see your eyes are open to what's going on in the world that we don't want to be a part of because when you're a part of it you're participating in it is creating more of it right so why would you participate in something that you don't want and you can check out that video like i said um now the older consciousness that's been running on old uh programs see it as they are um, lazy or going to be burdened on the future for tomorrow but they're not they're creating change for us they're breaking up the condensed energy of what's been before because they haven't done it right and so new forms of energy and vibration have to come in on a higher consciousness and level to do it, right? So what's not done is done by the new vibrations and energies of new generations. So say the older generation, they didn't do self-work. They didn't do self-healing. They didn't help themselves. They just kind of followed suit, you know, and then this is how it is and blah, 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 you know, and so the next generation, I know in for me, in my awakening, you know, having to do my own self healing, had to do some healing, you know, um, that my parents and my generation, 
down the path haven't done. So it was kind of me doing it or I would have been affected by it or I was being affected by it, right? So if it's not done in previous generations, new generations come in and help shift and change that, right? Basically. Um, but because they had the old program and they're thinking, oh, the millennials, you know, blah, 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 <laughs> you know, um, but that's not, they couldn't see it for what it was, right? Because they were so programmed. It's the new generations that are coming in, making the change, right? Instead of the old generations, right? And when it should be every generation taking responsibility for where they are in that space, but it hasn't been like that. And so it kind of leads all up to this um, energy and vibration just coming up to a point and a head and just busting, right? And so something has to be done in order to make that shift. And so that's why we have these new vibrations of energies and souls coming in on different levels to help with that, right? So the older generation or the older consciousness that's been running on the old programs, seeing it as they are laser going to be a burden for the future if they don't keep it going as they've been doing, you know, because they think this is how it's done. This is how it's run. You have to learn this way. You have to do it this way. You have to do it that way instead of thinking new ways, right, which is the bridge. Um, and so it's going to be what they don't understand. It is the purpose of them coming in with that energy and vibration. You may have felt it too within yourself, the desire to no longer work, to be, to rest, to start your own business, to walk away, to no longer participate. And even now generations bring with a new energy and vibration. You will be affected by it, becoming a part of it, and you will see it in yourself. So don't fight it. So the new, <clears throat> The new energy that's coming in is being tired of the way that it's of the way it is, right? And so that's going to bring more change. That's the vibration that's going to be coming in. And you're going to see more and more people walking away and leaving and making change and finding other ways. And it's already in progress. People are stopping shopping at the store, stop going to religion, you know, things like that, building their own gardens, changing how they live, right? There's just going to be more and more of that coming in, different, more new waves of energy and vibration, higher beings coming in. <clears throat> um, so use discernment, but don't fight the feelings. Seek other ways of being. Some talk about the waves that come in. That is them. It has come to a critical point in time that we need to change and step it up, moving along the change of evolution. People get so stuck in their ways and believe things are the way that they are forever when in fact it isn't. We change and grow every day, even though it takes you out of your comfort zone. So be gentle and with yourself in the coming days. Uh, we got lots to do in so little time. And when you are called to do what you are meant to do, follow your inner guidance and connect to your higher self for guidance. If you don't understand something, and so no matter what you're feeling or moving through you, allow it. Don't beat yourself up. Don't hold it like you own it. You don't. Not only are you here to be the witness of it, but to experience the passing through of it, which is the old consciousness into the new stage of consciousness. It's a new era coming into age, which is the present moment. Everything is alive, the earth, the air, the sun, the trees, and you. And you are all life and alive in this moment. So when you start feeling like you are owning your own stuff, that is because it is time for a deep dive into what you're holding on to, to no longer serves you in the future coming days. And you will see that being stripped away. In your discomfort, love yourself. It is not who you are no more. So be okay with what you are experiencing at the moment. And know it will be okay in the end. Trust in your divinity source and who you are as a soul descendant, not a separate entity. Be kind to yourself and others in the coming days, weeks, and hours. If you don't have support systems that you can trust, seek them out. If you don't have tools to use, seek them out. Find balance during these coming days. Use inner child healing, shadow work, Reiki, massage. Meditation, yoga, natural bathing. 
uh, drinking plenty of water. They will all be coming in hand and be your best ally during these coming shifts. If you're feeling tired, drain, or unwanted emotional disturbances, honor it, but do something that energizes and frees you from it so you don't stay stuck or pulled into the lower frequencies or vibration. Eat light and healthy, healthy foods. Hold more weights, no pun intended. <laughs> you know, the more unhealthy we eat, the more weight we put on. It's kind of what it was saying. But the lighter foods that you eat, um, even um, meat densities, things like that, that keeps you more in the, the lower vibrations and energy because um, you're, you're, you're eating dead foods, basically, and more like more um, humanistic foods. Because you, if you go the food chain, if you learn about the food chain, you know, from plants to human, you're eating, you know, in that um, from plants are very light right? And into the human um, or the flesh of animals is heavy and dense, right? So as you're transitioning and working on yourself and self-healing and um, trying to, you know, um, shed things and things like that, you want to eat, eat lighter and do things like that when you're shifting consciousness, right? And doing healthy behaviors. Um but do something that energizes and frees you so that you don't stay stuck or pulled into the lower frequencies or vibration. Eat light and healthy, healthy foods, hold more weight, no pun intended, but it keeps you heavier in vibration. You don't come with this in fear, but awareness. We don't come with this all in fear, but awareness that there is change <clears throat> that is coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, many of us heard um, of the three waves of volunteers, but we are all volunteers to come here. We are never forced to come here. We all agreed upon being here. And every new generation is a new evolution in of itself being, meaning that uh, every time a new um, energy and vibration of a soul comes in, it's on a higher level and in intelligence, right? And it brings with it new energy and vibration and a purpose right, to add to the collective. But with this uh, big, these changes coming on, you know, more and more coming on in together in more of a um, kind of like herd, we'll just say more and more coming in. Um, <clears throat> and so it's always uplifting and involving into new consciousness, myself included, uh, which Kind of, I talked a little bit about that in little bits and pieces. I haven't really done a full video on it yet, but my spiritual journey and the angelic death experience that I went through um, in that. Um, <clears throat> so we are all and meant to, we are all here and meant to be here at this time, which is why there are so many existing at this one time on the planet to help shift the planet. Everyone has a part in it and to uphold the soul's request for being here. We are much more than the human existence, which may, many don't realize that have been programmed into thinking they just exist as humans and suffer their existence as sinners. That is nonsense. And so the new evolutions coming in will be helping to shed those belief systems. And it has already started happening many, many ways. And they are leaving the religious orders, um, finding and seeking freedom for their lives in different ways as they are awakening and see it is conflicting with their soul's journey the veils are lifting and getting thinner and so they can see clearer now the spell that they have been under and so we just have to follow our inner instincts and guidance after the first wave is when all that really started happening systems are falling and so we need to bring in other ways of being which is not just by the help by others around us who are also awakening, but awakening to the new ways by those across the veil. So we're all in this together. So be it without fear and trust in your divinity, which we cannot express so much. So that's basically saying, you know, we're not alone in this. We have um, like our ancestors, the angels, guys, the masters, all those on the other side, they're helping with all this transformation and use them um, and I don't really want to heighten the word use, like use them, but utilize them as, you know, help for you. 
and everybody else, right? And so we can, it's easier to get through and knowing we have that navigation for us to help. And they're helping on many different levels, which I'm not gonna get into in this video. Um, but last year, um, I was walking down, uh, cause I was going on this one um, walk like every morning and I was tuning in. I do my morning rituals and I do different things, but um, lately now that I've been started channeling the books, um, I kind of been doing my rituals, you know, channeling every morning. But when I, last year, when I was walking along the water, the waterway, I would tune in and I actually got to download that new waves are coming in. And so it was, it felt really good. You know, it's not, I'm not going to say it's going to be blissful, um, but I'm going to say it's going to be for the good, right? <laughs> because everything is for the good. Um, sometimes we have to go through hard times to get to the good though, or have to go through harms, go through, you know, some hard times for the good. Um, right. And so breaking up the old ways more and more little by little. And so it's little by little transition is what they're saying. So we will be transitioning into what many call the new earth. It would also behoove you to work on developing and maintaining your spiritual gifts as we move forward and shift. So if you haven't started working with your spiritual gifts or know what they are, or um, if you have them, you know, you want to maintain them. Um, so as we're working through this, we can everybody can receive because we all have gifts, right? We've all been given gifts and we have the ability to do that, tap in and tune in. So, you know, develop them or maintain them, whichever, wherever you are on your journey, right? Um, and develop and maintain our spiritual gifts as we move forward and shift. So it becomes easier for you to receive divine guidance and keep your intention, your intuition sharpened as we all share the same DNA code and we are all one despite our parents. And so we can all do this together, not separate for it won't work in se separation or segregation, which is the way that it has been, but not the way it will be. So now is the time to put the power back in our own hands. No more pointing fingers, turning within and finding balance in our own lives with being who we are, source, and accepting all others for who they are on our spiritual journeys and our spiritual divinity, for we are all one. And it takes faith to believe in what you cannot see or to know what is to become. But if you allow it, it will show you the most amazing things. If you feel stuck, call on angels, guides, or what you believe is your God or source, even though we are all one, so it is all the same. All right. And just as for assistance, um, ask for assistance and then be open to receive. And that was pretty much the end of the channeling um, that I had received uh, from that this morning. And I'm going to leave it there and share that with you guys. Um, take from it what you will. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but definitely, if you have any comments or questions, just drop them below in the comment section. And um, definitely, if you have any questions, I put I have my email there um, in the uh, like the blog area down below, and send me um, any questions or e an email. All right, happy journeys.